From 1982 to 1990, a country called Chad, a country of some 14 million people in Central Africa, utterly landlocked, was ruled by a president named Hassan Habre. He was a monster, a tyrant, who assembled a group of security agents who managed over the course of the eight years to murder, rape, and torture at least 40,000 people. In 1990, Habre himself was the subject to a coup and he raced for, uh, for safety to Senegal. And he's been in Senegal for the last 25 years. And through the course of that entire period, a number of governments and uh, groupings have attempted to bring it before the courts on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity and torture. Belgium tried to extradite him, the European Union tried to extradite him, even the Africa Union wanted him on trial, and he resisted, and the government of Senegal permitted him to continue to live in relative security until a couple of years ago, when finally Senegal capitulated to the international pressure and established a special tribunal, a special court, for the purpose of putting Habre on trial. The court was to be staffed by judges from within Senegal and the adjacent country of Burkina Faso. So it was an international African court. And last week, he was brought before the court. Before the proceedings began, he leaped to his feet, heaped abuse upon the judges, said they were puppets of imperialism. He and his, and his lawyers managed to get out of the courtroom. The judges were taken aback, and then they ruled that the trial would be resuscitated in September. There would be new lawyers appointed by the court and they would force Habre into the courtroom. What's so important about this is that it's the first time in African history that a president of one country has been tried in another country where of course he's not a citizen. It's called universal jurisdiction. Now universal jurisdiction should have another application and that application should be to bring President Robert Mugabe murderer and criminal to trial in South Africa. South Africa has universal jurisdiction as a result of ratifying the International Criminal Court statute so that it's domesticated into South African law and they could bring Mugabe to trial as deserves to be the case, but they won't. They won't because the president of South Africa is himself without any moral credentials and that's the huge problem. You know, I was watching Obama in Africa last week in Kenya and Ethiopia, and I was thinking that all of the saccharine words in the world can't overcome the festering deaths that have characterized the behavior of so many totalitarians on that continent. And it continues, alas, to this day. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.